foot four will jump it up here against Maya Sellen. And this is a smaller, at least at the four outside spots for Alabama. Peyton Burkhardt gets it started hot for the Jackrabbits. She's averaging 16 a game in her last seven. She is leading South Coast State in scoring in this NIT. Well, and you cannot lose track of her on the three-point line. SDSU, one of the best three-point shooting teams in the country. Starters presented by Montgomery's as a three rattles out for Hannah Barber for Alabama. Back up and in, though, for the Crimson Tide. And Jada Rice inside at 6-4. A great offensive rebounder. Getting Alabama some points there, too. Montgomery starters for the Jackrabbits. Burkhardt goes back-to-back -back threes. And as you see, Burkhardt in there. Haley Timmer gets the start again. Her fourth start now here in this national tournament. Well, Alabama has to guard the three-point line. This Jackrabbit team leads the country in three-point percentage and is right up there and makes as well. Brittany Davis on the handle. Lefty gets that to settle in. And in the three games here in the NIT, she's averaging 19 a game for Alabama. Yeah, well, this Alabama team's averaging over 80. So is SDSU. This is going to be an offensive show between these two today. Selland for three, and the Jacks are toasty at Foss to get it started. Well, they shoot 39%. That is the best in the country, and they are three for three to start this one. This is Jemiah Mingo Young back out to Davis, and a rebound to Maya Sellen. Here's Haley Timmer, the freshman for the Jacks. Two fantastic games in the opening two games of this tournament. That rattles out for Tori Nelson. And Alabama miscommunication right now. They cannot leave open shooters. SDSU is going to make them pay if that continues. Megan Abrams on the drive for Alabama and picks up a foul on Tylee Irwin. And Tom, that right there is what Alabama loves to do. This is a great team getting out in transition getting downhill and attacking the rim. Alabama, a win over Houston. In the third round, 79-64. Jackrabbits rip another one off, though, and Selling coming the other way. And South Dakota State, that win over Drake here on Thursday night, 84-66. Ty Lee Irwin drops it in. Could not ask for a better start for the Jackrabbits. They've hit four of their last five shots to start this thing. Three on the way by Davis. Peyton Burkhard runs down the rebound. South Coast State will push when they can, and Haley Timmer will dribble it back out. Three on the way again for Burkhard. That one's off the side of the rim. Rebound down to Davis. Mingo Young. Keeps the dribble alive, blocked out by Tori Nelson. To applause early on, and you just got to shake your head and smile at the crowd that is here this afternoon. Yeah, the support for this program and for women's basketball in this area may be unparalleled, Tom, in the country. I mean, we've got a packed house here on a Sunday afternoon for this game. Got it into Jada Rice at the Jackrabbits with a block shot. Ellen in the post against Brittany Davis. Rice, a quick look at a double. Back to Irwin. That leaves Haley Timmer wide open. And that goes over the top of the board and out of bounds. Well, when you compare these starting lineups, there is a lot of things that are interesting in this game because Alabama basically starts four players, Tom, that are five foot nine or less. And South Dakota State's smallest player in their starting lineup is Timmer at 5'10". Here's the exception for Alabama. Rice at 6'4". Little dribble handoff and a held ball. Stays down here with the tide with the shot clock at 11. And the tug of war on this end is can Alabama, with that smaller lineup, utilize their quickness advantage? That's what they have in this game. So can they get past SDSU on the bounce? That's when the Crimson Tide is at their best offensively. Abrams. Shot clock winding, and she 
scores with a left hand. Megan Abrams, a senior out of Lafayette, Louisiana. Fourth year at Alabama, averaging 15 a game. Tori Nelson had it knocked away there by Mingo Young, and then a steal. Alabama running, Jada Rice coming back this way. Haley Timmer back defensively for the Jackson, a foul on Timmer. I don't know, man. That was questionable call, and I think the reason the fans here didn't like it is from the position that the official called it in, trailing the play. But you got to credit Mingo Young, who made a great defensive play getting the steal, Tom, and that's one thing that Alabama has been great at all year long, forcing turnovers and creating transition with their pressure. Mingo Young was at Mississippi State for two years before coming to Alabama. Another player out of the state of Louisiana, and she gets one. And that'll get Allie Craig Cruz, another longtime Alabama player, fourth year at Alabama as well, into the game. And with Cruz going in, they actually get even more athletic. She's got some versatility on the offensive end to step out and shoot it. Haley Greer is in for the Jackrabbits. Here's Greer, and she will get a look at a three. And South Dakota State, after their first three went down, they've missed their last four now from three-point range. Now, Alabama's helping a lot in the low post, and that's what's freeing up those three-point looks on the backside. Barber stop and pop on a three. Jack's on the boards with Sellen. Ahead to Greer, Tori Nelson coming the other way. Beautiful bounce to Timmer for two. Well, any youngster who's watching this game, I mean, that was textbook how you run a fast break. Passing the ball there. On the screen, a foul on Cruz. Uh, one of the reasons South Dakota State has just become one of the best offensive teams, not only in the Summer League, but in the country this year, is their ability and willingness to share it. And they've already got three assists early in this one. Nelson out of a double team. That leaves Greer open. Timmer was coming to get it. Play with Alabama quick and athletic. SDSU a lot longer and bigger. Into selling. Kelly Tyson comes in for the Jackrabbits. Down in the post. Alabama did not make any changes in the lineup in that timeout. And there is another nice pass and a bucket for the Jacks. A foul on Brittany Davis on the basket by Tyson. Just a great dive there on the backside by Tyson, who has become such an efficient score for SDSU, Tom. And I've got an interesting little trivia question for you here. Who leads South Dakota State in free throw attempts? It's Cali. Tyson, if you can believe that, on the season as she gets to the line a lot. I would not have believed you until I just looked at it. <laughs> I had to double check that myself, too, but I'll tell you, the, the post off the bench in Tyson has been an aggressive inside. Here's Tyson. Nice little dump to sell it. He couldn't quite catch up with it. Brittany Davis coming the other way. Tip Davis for three, and then we'll go down. Tyson with a rebound. That's good transition offense for Alabama. Those are the looks they want. Haley Greer going all the way in, and they get another one on Davis, and that is her second. And that is huge news because Davis is their leading score at 17 and a half a game. That's top 70 in the country, so she's one of the elite offensive players in all of college basketball. Going to the bench now with foul trouble. Taylor Sutton checks in for Davis. And Jada Rice comes back in as well for Alabama. So Davis down with two with less than four minutes gone here. And, or to play in the opening quarter. Two for Greer. Grad student came over from Colgate and was just going to play one year, but got the COVID year this year and has played a big part again for South Dakota State. And has been willing to accept whatever role she's been called upon right now. Getting a lot of minutes at the backup point guard. 
Here's Sutton. Back out to Cruz and another three. Lindsey Thunick in there. Going after the rebound along with Rice. And it will stay with Alabama. And the three ball not falling nope. for the tide either here early on. Yeah, they're 0 for 6. And this is a team that makes about 8 a game. That puts them in the top 10% of the country with that stat. Here's Barber, really good three-point shooter. She and Davis lead the squad. Again, Davis on the bench now. Cruz back to the rim, couldn't finish. Selling to Greer. Tyler Irwin, good catch. Shot of a double. Selling going down to get it. Pulls it away from Barber. Out to Thunick for three. Lindsey Thunick knocking down the 4-3 of the opening quarter here for the Jackrabbits and they open up a 12-point lead. Well, they're doing a great job on this end. Alabama's only scored two points, Tom, in about the last six minutes. That streak broken there is a nice pull-up. Mingo Young with the bucket. And on this end, Alabama's really trying to take away the paint. They're bringing help when needed. And now they're playing a bigger lineup with two posts. Salen sweeping across with a little baby hook. She's got five. Mingo Young trying to get a three down and still nothing at the three-point line for Alabama. Erwin to Tyson who rarely shoots the three and that'll go wandering out of bounds. <laughs> Selling, who's been fantastic late in the season for the Jacks, has moved into the top ten in scoring all time at South Dakota State. She goes out. Tori Nelson back in. Megan Abrams just came back in for Alabama. And Myra Gordon on as well for the tie, number 15. But again, the big news for them, Brittany Davis, their leading score on the bench with two fouls, Tom, and she plays ton of minutes so Alabama is going to have to be forced to use some different li lineups that they are not accustomed to without her out there. Yeah, there was Abrams on the miss. Abrams second in line and scoring behind Davis. Good out double team. Double. Thunick picks it up. That's just you fortunate there. Tyson out to Thunick again and Lindsey Thunick off the SDSU bench with a couple of threes. And Phoenix had some up and down stretches this year, shooting it just 32% overall, but two big ones here in this first half. Long and strong on the three by Sutton. Tori Nelson rebound. And by far the best start here in the tournament in the opening quarter for South Dakota State. Nelson, again, they come with the double. Tyson comes crashing in. And a foul will go on Alabama and Megan Abrams. And South Dakota State, as this quarter has gone on, has gotten better at getting post touches and then playing off of that. And there they knew that double was coming. They're diving their other post and getting some great looks off of it. Hey, you know who's taking more free throw attempts than anybody <laughs> for the Jacks? Well, you can see why. I mean, she is aggressive, strong when she catches it inside, drawing fouls. Tyson gets them both. Tyson was injured two years ago, came back strong here. Last year, another good year this year, and only gets about 18 minutes a game, but she is productive when she's in there. South Dakota State by 16 already, and a travel on Mingo Young. Uh, just... A really difficult start for Alabama on the offensive end. They haven't hit a three. They're 0 for 8 there. Some turnovers that they aren't usually going to commit. And South Dakota State also just dominating the glass, not giving the Crimson Tide second chances. Irwin. Sneaking around that screen by Tyson and goes right back to her. Had a little trouble making the catch. And Mingo Young comes away with it for Alabama. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. 
And Alabama typically would attack there, but they want to hold for the last shot as the quarter comes to an end. At three, got to go here. Mingo Young on the pull-up, settles that in, and she's got... She wasn't 100%, but I tell you... Kind of once February hit, she has been one of the elite players in college basketball on the women's side and how well she's played. So selling back on, Burkhardt back on. Jacks go back to their first five. Alabama with a steal. Mingo Young will give it back to Barber. And Alabama needs to do more of that. Turn some defensive pressure into some offense for them. And they turn it over, though, unfortunately, for the Crimson Tide on the offensive foul. First on Jemiah Mingo Young. Brittany Davis is back in for Alabama. Picked up those two fouls in the first quarter. And Alabama makes the adjustment here at the quarter to go zone defense. Burkhard's three off. Rice gathers it. And here comes Hannah Barber. And again, no three-pointers yet made in this game for the Crimson Tide. They were 0 for 8 in that first corner. They've got to get some traction there, too, because this is a team that can really shoot it with great perimeter play. Abrams trying to find an opening. Haley Timmer just following her all over the floor. Scoop short. Knocked out. Timmer goes down, and it... We'll come back the other way. And that's where South Dakota State's size really helps them protect the rim, Tom. You know, a lot of times you think of size as being post players, but South Dakota State's really big and long at the wing spots. And Timmer, Tori Nelson, Tally Irwin, all three of those really terrific defenders that can get out and guard on the perimeter. Well, this zone has been good for Alabama this year. They can really be pesky in it and can force turnovers in it. Burkhardt trying to rip it through there. Defended well by Rice. Jacks turned it over. Davis going in against Tori Nelson. Great spin. Yeah, I think Davis, knowing she already had two fouls, had to be careful there not to be too aggressive. Another steal, though. Mingo Young combo there with Rice to take it away. Abrams back to Davis. A little shaking it in for Brittany Davis. Uh, the lefty can really score it when she gets it rolling. Had 18 points Thursday night in their win over Houston. Made a ton of threes this year, too, to Davis. And as you said, Alabama's not knocked one in yet. They are digging it up, though, to start the second quarter. Another miss by the Jacks. Mingo Young off the screen from Rice. Tori Nelson trying to catch up. And... Yeah, Mingo Young trying to initiate some contact, drawing the foul, but unable to. And Nelson using her six-inch height advantage there. Selling the drop-off for Burkhardt. Alabama went back man-to-man -man that time, and SDSU carved him up again with some just good ball movement and screening action. Abrams to Rice. Drops that in. Jada Rice. Wow, this is huge as we see SDSU carving up here defensively. Alabama trying to go back man and not able to match up. As you see Selen score, but on the other end, or excuse me, drop the dime to Burkhard. They called a foul after the basket, so Rice scores it. Foul on Mingo Young. She's got two fouls now, so Davis and Mingo Young Two of their double-figure scores in foul trouble for Alabama. And they got Mingo Young here on the rebound. See how she pushes Selen there. And just really an unnecessary foul for the junior guard for the Crimson Tide. Taylor Sutton comes off the Alabama bench to replace Mingo Young. And the Tide back into this zone. They've kind of gone zone defense on makes and then back to man when they've missed. Missed by Selen. Rice rebound. 
SDSU just two points so far in this second quarter. Rice made the catch and they said she traveled with it making that move. And those are the turnovers when you're struggling offensively that just haunt you. Alabama's done a better job in this second quarter forcing some turnovers. They forced three of them. Gotten some stops. This zone is being effective that way, and they get another one there. Jacks with six turnovers now. There is Davis. Leave her open for three in the first three ball of the game for Alabama. Brittany Davis. Now she takes eight of them a game. That's one of the highest attempt rates in the country. Selland. She's got seven. And another thing for Alabama here, Bradley, is the free throw line. They get to the free throw line. Absolutely. A ton. And they have not yet so far in this game. Just two of them so far. And by a ton, you mean they shot 32 of them in their last game. Rice making that catch. Back in down on Peyton Burkhardt. And Jada Rice spins and in. She's got six. Well, you can tell, though, Alabama getting some traction now here. And it's because they've gotten some stops on this end, finally. Another steal. Abrams takes it away. Now, the zone defense has been terrific for the Crimson Tide in this second quarter. It's changed the complexion of the game, the flow of it. Alabama has held SDSU to just four points so far in the quarter. And there is another three, and they cut the lead to seven. SDSU led by 17 early, and now Sutton with another three. And a lot of it's because of the zone down on this end. Christy Curry has turned the right knobs here in this second quarter. Maya Sellen, though, with the bucket. Nine for Sellen, and Jack's trying to get on track offensively in this quarter. Well, let's see if Aaron Johnston can turn some knobs on his end and get his team to attack the zone a little better and take better care of it, Tom. South Dakota State five turnovers in this second quarter. That's why Alabama's gotten back in this game. Alabama heating it up offensively as well. They've hit a couple of threes here. And they are now six of nine shooting in the quarter as Abrams hits another. Callie Tyson, Haley Greer back on for the Jacks. Tyson out of the double team, and that's another SDSU turnover. Davis. Little step through move and in for Brittany Davis. Now SDSU really hurting themselves by putting it on the deck inside. Alabama just taking it away. Timmer short on the pull up right back to her. And how about Christy Curry too taking some chances with players with two fouls out there right now and Mingo Young and Davis. Would not go down for Tori Nelson. Rebound to Cruz. Alabama has come from down 17 in that first quarter. Cut it to five. Now they've outscored the Jacks by 10 this quarter. Good run here for the Crimson Tide, and they add to it there. Three by Allie Craig Cruz, and it's a two-point game. They have hit their last seven shots over about the last five minutes of this game, and that will get you back in it. We have a ball game again. Timmer. Big three for the Jackrabbits. Trying to get this big Frost crowd back into it. Abrams, screen and roll with Cruz. Nice move to get herself free. A little strong, no selling rebound. Well, and that's the first miss, and this is the first opportunity SDSU has to run, and they... Both of these teams have won three games already. And the winner of this one on to the semifinals. Uh, you've got to remember, 
Alabama plays in the Southeast Conference. They have played against the likes of South Carolina, Tennessee, some perennial women's program. So they're not going to back down in a game that they were down early. They've really shown a lot of toughness fighting back in this one. Barber on the move inside, lost it. And the Jacks have scored five straight now after Alabama got it back within two. Peyton Burkhardt makes a save, and Alabama getting a lot of hands on a lot of passes in this zone. Yeah, whether it's quickness or size. Tylee Irwin for three, and it's an 8 nothing run for the Jackrabbits. And that's the look that can hurt the zone. You get it inside, you collapse the defense around it, and then you kick it out for a three. SDSU 7 of 14 at the three-point line. Abrams out to Sutton. Drop it down to Rice. Working again against Burkhardt. A Burkhardt holds her off this time. Yeah, that's huge for SDSU. That's an advantage that Alabama could exploit inside. And Peyton Burkhardt able to get the stop and the board. Selen behind the back, and then the wraparound to Burkhard. And an Alabama foul will get Peyton Burkhard to the line. Foul on Taylor Sutton. Look at this pass by Selen. Now look at the ball handling to start with, and how often is your best offensive player also your best passer and leading your team in assists? But that's what South Dakota State has in Maya Selen. Mingo Young back on for Alabama. Picked up her second foul with just three minutes gone in the second quarter. So she's back in. Davis has been playing with two. Yeah, Christy Curry put Mingo Young and Davis back on the bench there for just a short spurt. And SDSU now on a 9-0 run looking to add to it. Nine points, nine rebounds already for Burkhard. And that is 10 straight points by South Dakota State. Abrams into traffic, picked off by Thunic. Mingo Young coming back with her. Got those two fouls and just got her third. And Mingo Young there made the decision to challenge this shot. And it was a costly one for her as she did draw the foul. Lindsay Thunick to shoot two. Well, how about the first half for Thunick? She now has seven points as a player that averages about two and a half a game. Hit two big threes in that first quarter. And two free throws in the run. Continues now for the Jacks, 12 straight. After Alabama cut it to 32-30. Barber going off at Davis. A little a flare screen for her, and they said Rice was moving on the screen, and that is her first. South Dakota State will have it with 17 seconds. Tom, that was so well defended by SDSU. They knew it was coming. And sure enough, Rice slid just enough on the top there to get that foul. Alabama back to the zone. Sutton out there making Irwin burn some time. Selling into the corner to Burkhard. Back up top. Selling's got to let her fly. And that's going to be two free throws. This is a Crimson Tide team that Gets to the line a lot, and they did not in that first half at all. Defend without fouling is a huge coaching mantra, is it, it not? It is. Now you flip it the other way, and Alabama had 10 fouls, had a couple of their star players in foul trouble. Abrams, drop it off to Jada Rice up and in, and that is eight for Rice who was a three-year player at North Carolina State before coming over to Alabama. And has had a nice run in these WNIT games, averaging almost 10 points, eight boards. 
Crimson Tide back to that zone. Davis makes the save on the sideline after the steal. And up and in for Brittany Davis. And a 4-0 start to the half for Alabama. That is eight steals now for Alabama. And they will make you pay for being lackadaisical with your passes or putting the ball on the deck in traffic. Tori Nelson, a knuckleball three that won't go down. Burkhardt going after it. And the Tide knock it out. Congrats, by the way, to Carter Holm, who hit a half-court shot at halftime to win himself some free food at one of the establishments here in town. <laughs> uh, if this building didn't need enough juice already, <laughs> exactly. it, got it a, got really loud. Got a big roar out of that as Peyton Burkhard gets off the state started in the second half. A dozen for Burkhard to lead SDSU. She's got 12, Selen with 9, Thunic with 8, and... Hannah Barber drops in three, her first points of the game. And Barber, the best three-point shooter by percentage on this team, can really light it up from the arc. Close to 40% for Barber. Burkhard, great fake, couldn't finish it off, knocked out. And will go over to Alabama. Alabama starting this half with a lot of ball screens here, getting Rice involved, their 6-4 post. Davis for three. Brittany Davis has knocked in a couple from long range. She's got 14, and now it's a five-point game and a 10-2 run already for Alabama. Davis again up and over Irwin and would not stay down. Uh, this has been nothing but a game of runs. Both these teams have gone on big runs throughout this game. Alabama did this to Houston as well in their last game. They outscored Houston 22-6 in the third quarter after that game was tied at halftime. And it is already 10-2. Alabama here to open this quarter and another steal. Abrams comes down with it. Three turnovers, three steals already for Alabama to start this second half. Abrams on a drive and it rolls off, but she got fouled. Well, this is exactly what fueled a 19-6 run in the second quarter for the Crimson Tide, where they hit seven straight shots, Tom. They let their defense create offense. Abrams will get two. In the three games in the tournament, she's had 24 points, 19 points, and 18 in the win over Houston. And didn't sit a minute in those first three yeah. games of the tournament. Played all 40. Yep, she's got great energy that way. And you look at her last six games, the, the run that Alabama's kind of been on in the postseason, 21 points per game she's averaged. Abrams now with five, and she did sit about a minute and a half in the first half of this one, but will most likely be out there for the full force here in the second half. Back to the zone for the Crimson Tide. Great look straight away for Irwin. That's off. Rebound to Burkhard. Back out to Timmer. Reload second chance, and that's good. Haley Timmer with her second three, and she's got eight. Well, two things that are really hard to do in the zone, and that's guard the arc and rebound. Barber all the way under. Get a good look for Mingo Young, and that's good. First three for Jemiah Mingo Young. And back to a five-point game after the trade of the threes. Can SDSU you get it inside first, play inside, outside. That's when you can get good looks. Selling up over Rice, and it rolls out in the scrap for the rebound between Mingo Young and Timmer. And it will stay at this end for South Dakota State. Well, the offensive board, something that, again, when you're starting to play zone, you play a smaller lineup like Alabama does, something they've had to battle with all year long. Haley Greer just checked in for Irwin for South Dakota State. They did go back to 30 on the shot clock on the reset. 
Alabama just there on the catch on everything South Dakota State is doing right now. Steal by Timmer out to Sellin for three, and that's strong, but Haley Greer's got it. Yeah, offensive boards right now killing the Crimson Tide. They've got to shore that up here. Burkhardt travels, though, and... The 11 SDSU turnovers. South Coast State led big early, led by 17 in the opening quarter. Alabama cut that lead to two midway through the second quarter. It was a 14-point lead for South Coast State at halftime. And the Crimson Tide continue to cut into it here as Davis with another three. Tom, Alabama missed their first eight threes. They've hit their last seven since then from the arc here. What a change in how well they've shot it. Blocked by Rice. Abrams for the lead, and that is eight straight threes. That is correct, and Alabama has a lead in this game. What a comeback for the Crimson Tide. They have already erased a 14-point halftime deficit. Five threes down in the quarter for Alabama, and the zone continues to do its job. SDSU had 26 points in the opening quarter. Alabama went to this zone to start the second. A three by Greer is off. And another Alabama rebound by Brittany Davis. Oh, it's got SDSU on their heels on this end as well as the Jacks are not containing the basketball very well at all. Davis with 10 in the quarter, 19 in the game. Corey Nelson with a much needed hoop for South Dakota State. We're going to reset. Shot clock at 10. Out to Mingo Young. Abrams, step back three. Rice with the rebound, though. Shot clock back to 20 for Alabama. And that breaks the string of eight straight threes. Knocked down by the Crimson Tide. Davis off the side of the rim and finally Burkhardt with a rebound for the Jacks and this issue a chance to get the lead back. Tory Nelson. Burkhardt with the putback. 14 for Peyton Burkhardt. SD issue back in front. Tom, Alabama's already scored 22 points in this quarter because they've hit 8 of 11. Going inside here to Rice. Turnaround good. Rice now with 10. Tory Nelson for three. Dunick and Abrams. Abrams wins that battle on the backside. Dunick with the block, and it came right back into the hands of Abrams, and she scores. They said she lost control, yeah, got she, it back, and scores. Should have been a jump ball there. This is the first lead now of the game for Alabama coming in this third quarter. And Alabama's just been terrific defensively in this quarter. Active with their hands, forcing turnovers. And then hitting shots on this side of it. Playing a lot of confidence now. Mingo Young. Out to Davis. Gets by Sellen and takes a pop. It's midway through the first quarter. Still just two. And she's got 21 already. And one here. And Alabama has outscored SDSU 29 to 9 in this quarter so far. Unbelievable because SDSU had been dominating third quarters in this WNIT tournament up to this point. But Tom, you mentioned it. Alabama did this exact same thing on Thursday night to Houston. 
Callie Tyson spins it in. How does SDSU respond? This is a Jackrabbit team that, quite frankly, isn't accustomed to being behind in games on their home floor very often. Abrams defended by Thunic. Yeah, Alabama did not lead in the opening half, took the lead here. Midway through this third, Tori Nelson off, and Mingo Young just rips that rebound away for Alabama. Yeah, it's just a toughness play there. Great job by Mingo Young, but Nelson missed an easy one. South Coast State just switching. Yeah, they're switching everything now because Alabama's really exploited the screen and roll game. Abrams again. She's got a dozen lead back to six for Alabama. Irwin puts it on the floor, slides by and gets to the free throw line. Now, a couple things Aaron Johnston wants to see out of his team a little differently here. Attacking more off the bounce, gaps in the zone and dribble penetration, not settling for threes. SDSU just one of six from the arc in this third quarter. And then, Tom, you mentioned it defensively. I see you trying to mix some things up with some switches now. Taylor Sutton back for Alabama. 23.9 to go here in this third quarter. And Alabama has come from 14 down at halftime. Will most likely have the lead after three quarters. And the clock did start there for a second. They're going to go back to 23.9. Yeah, not really sure why Alabama's rolling the ball up the floor. They're just going to hold it for the last shot anyway, but there we go. How about this third quarter, though, for the Crimson Tide? 31 points they've scored. Barber dropping it back for Davis, who stays on fire here in the quarter with her third game now. And SDSU in a position they have not found themselves in in this home floor in quite some time. Alabama goes from down 14 to up eight here to start the fourth. Mingo Young cut off by Irwin. Maya selling back for South Dakota State. Davis uses that screen to get around her. Rice, offensive rebound, and in for Jado Rice, who's now got a dozen. Well, Peyton Burkhardt had to help off on the ball screen. That gave Rice a free lane at that O'Glass. Biggest lead of the ball game for Alabama. Extra pass, three on the way. Irwin, good. And SDSU's going to need some threes if they're going to overcome this deficit. That's what's gotten them in here this entire season. Abrams coming on strong in this second half as well. Jacks blocked that away. Haley Timmer on the push. Going to go all the way herself and in. That's a great job by Timmer. No one stopped her. Cut off by Timmer. 20 seconds down in the possession. Another block for Timmer. Mingo Young and Irwin get tied up, and this will go over to South Dakota State. And South Dakota State's willing to let Alabama's guards come in and drive to the paint. If they can stay between them and the basket, they have that size advantage. 
And SDSU, for the first time this half, able to string two stops together. That never happened in the third quarter. And back-to-back -back buckets as well. The three by Irwin, the two by Timmer. Timmer is there on the spot after another deflected pass. Seven straight points by South Dakota State to get back within three. And the shot clock didn't reset the right way, so they're stopping the game for that. Attendance, by the way, is 4,268. This is the biggest crowd they've had in here for a women's game since 2015 when Notre Dame was here. Abrams back out to Barber. Going in against Thunick. Circle back up. Shot clock at 10. Jacks again. Switch that screen. Abrams. Off glass again. Rebound. Knocked out of bounds. And it stays with Alabama. Shot clock is at 2, though. Yeah, it did not reset. Ball never hit the rim. But credit Megan Abrams there. She did not give up on this. And did look like Burkhardt was probably the last to touch it. Shot clock at two. They lob it. Mingo Young is blocked by Sellen. Push to Thunic. 7-0 run right now for the Jackrabbits to close this to three. And Sellen, though, kicked it out of bounds on the drive. And for a South Dakota State team that's been pretty good taking care of the ball this year, 14 turnovers, credit Alabama and their defensive pressure. 14 to 8 in turnovers. Davis, who was fantastic in that third quarter. She's got 25 already. That's her offhand. Won't go down. Burkhard to Irwin. Alabama back. To the man-to-man -man defense, Bradley. Yeah, they've mixed it up on makes and misses consistently since that first quarter. Sellen makes it a 9-0 run, and it's a terrific offensive player. And Brittany Davison has had a terrific game today. Davis had a couple of 32-point games this year against Texas A&M and Vanderbilt. But South Dakota State is on a 9-0 run right now to get back within a point. Abrams out to Barber. Irwin got screened off. Davis again, short on the three. Sellens got it, and the Jacks with a chance to get the lead back. Well, and Estes is really helping on Davis, contesting shots, leaving other players if they need to. Sellen waits for Abrams to fly by, and the Jacks back in the lead. 13 for Sellen. 11 0 SDSU run. Wow, this whole game has been a game of runs for both teams. Huge momentum swings both ways. Davis lost it. Burkhardt's got it. All the way across to Tylee Irwin and a foul before she gets to the rim. This will go on. Cruz for Alabama, and that's just the first foul of the quarter on either team. And again, Alabama's continuing to mix up some defenses. Back to the man that time. Mingo Young in for Cruz. Yeah, the starting lineup back. For the Crimson Tide, back for both of these teams here, with the exception of Thunic out there for SDSU. Thunic hit some big shots early in the game. Sellen, short and over the top. Huge third quarter for Alabama to get the lead. Big run here by South Dakota State to get the lead back. Well, Alabama scored 34 points in that second quarter. They've only got two in this fourth quarter. 
Picked up by Davis. And SDSU's energy on this level of this defensive side is really picked up. Burkhart trying to backpedal on the drive there against Davis, but gets the foul. And it'll be two shots for Brittany Davis. And they just showed the replay here. And of course, the crowd of 4,000 plus did not approve. But Alabama, a team that thrives for Christy Curry getting to the free throw line, has not been able to do that today. That's just their seventh free throw attempt, and Davis misses both. To the zone now for Alabama. Irwin probing and missed it on the reverse, but it's knocked out by the tide, and SDSU will have it. And with the shot clock back to 20. Yep, should reset there. A missed opportunity, though, for Alabama there to get a defensive stop. This is still an 11 0 run for the Jackrabbits right now that they're on. They trailed 56-66. Timmer for three and the freshman with another one. Three threes for Timmer. 15 more for her here tonight. And how huge has she been here in this third quarter? Seven of her points. Or excuse me, fourth quarter, I should say. 14-2 so far in this quarter. Jack Rabbits have outscored. The tie back out to Barber, cut off by Thunic. Mm, that won't go down, but an offensive rebound. Mingo Young puts it back up and in. And now Taco State will have it. Sellen comes back out. Burkhard has gone to get a little attention from the medical staff. Sellen, a couple of jabs to Kelly Tyson coming underneath. Cutting is Haley Timmer. Timely delivery from Tyson, and that is 17 for Timmer. Nine of those coming here in the fourth quarter. Three and a half to go. Davis, three is good. Again, Brittany Davis with 28, including four threes. And she has made South Dakota State pay for defensive mistakes every time. That was another example of that where they didn't switch out on her. Timmer again strong this time. Rice with the rebound. Alabama can get the lead back. Three minutes to go. Coming off that screen is Abrams. Sellin comes over to help. Mingo Young for three and this will just go out of bounds off the rim. Coach Curry not thrilled with that possession, but Burkhardt comes in with a black eye. Yeah, you weren't going to keep her out of the rest of this game. Can SDSU crack this zone? It has been terrific for Alabama ever since they went to it in the second quarter. Selwyn cut off by Rice. Irwin for three. That's strong. Timmer couldn't come up with it. Abrams has it. And that's what Alabama needed. They needed a missed shot. They got it. Abrams got the roll and the try back in the lead. That is 14 for Megan Abrams. Two minutes to go. Trying to get a couple high screens going here against the zone. Yeah, they're spreading the floor. No one inside. Need one to go down. That will not stay for Irwin. Lindsey Thunick rebound. Back to Burkhardt. Back out to Thunick for three. And Lindsey Thunick has been huge with three threes and 11 points. And has the issue back up by two. Now the bench has just been gigantic for SDSU in this game. 20 points. Thunick.
Big screen by Rice. Picked off by Tylee Irwin. Off to Thunic, trying to get out of that trap at half court. To Sellen. Alabama does not need to foul here, and that's what their coaching staff's telling them. Ten second different on the clock. And now it's South takes apart. Jax need to get it in here. Got Sellen to Burkhard to Timmer. Thunic will let fly with another three for Thunic. If they get into a shooting motion. Barber to inbound. Davis trying to get off the screen. Get it into Abrams. Screen from Rice. Three on the way by Abrams. Off the side. Rebound to Burkhardt. They will come foul her, but Alabama's got some fouls to give as well. Yeah, that's the problem they're going to have here. That does not send SDSU to the line. Foul on Abrams, but Alabama's got to commit three more fouls to get SDSU to the free throw line. Go for a turnover here if they can, but get it into Tylee Irwin. Barber trying to foul, not going to get it done, and it ends up in the hands appropriately.